Hey, what is going on guys? It is your boy Nightly Power here. In today's GTA 5 video, I'll be showing you how to create your own magic slot outfit, which you can then use to merge anything, and it'll be used as the basis for all your Beth outfits. So if you guys are enjoying today's video, be sure to drop a like, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more awesome content just like this. Now with that being said, let's jump straight into it. To begin making your magic slot outfit, you will need to have the following requirements. Net cut, two consoles, or have a friend help you out. The first step is to go into an invite only session, then make your way to the clothing store. Now go into the pants section, go into shorts, and select the love heart boxers. Once you have this equipped on the outfit, go to the top section, go to designer t-shirts, and select the black print t-shirt. Next, go to designer sports jacket and select the stylized Guffy puffer. Now save your outfit and label it as C1. For the next outfit that you will need to create, go back to the top section, go into smart jacket and equip the navy quilted jacket. Now save this outfit in your last outfit slot and label it as merge. For the final outfit, you will need to go to the front counter at the clothing store and go to racing suits and select the white racing suit. Now save the outfit and label it as C2. Now when you have these three outfits made and saved, put on the C1 outfit, now open the interaction menu and equip the Israel parachute bag and set parachute to on. Now close the interaction menu and wait for the orange loading circle. Now go onto netcut and lag the connection to your console 1. You can use the console lock or you can manually input the lag. To console lock, select the controller icon, then select the lock pad icon, then select the icon for the console you are using. Now to lag the connection manually, you will need to set the bandwidth to 5 kbits per second and incoming to 7500. With this way to lag the connection, you will need to wait 5 minutes before you can start GTA on the second console. With the first method, you can start GTA on the second console and accept the play here instead alert. If you don't have a second console, your friend can be your second console and help you out. Now load into an online session. When you get into the lobby, you will need to equip the C2 outfit. After putting on the outfit, wait for the orange loading circle, then close your game. Now on console 1, if you're using console lock, you will need to remove the parachute bag then get the orange loading circle before you disconnect the console lock. If you manually input the lag, you will need to set the connection to unlimited, then remove the parachute bag and wait for the orange loading circle. Now go into story mode. If you don't own story mode, you can close your game and relaunch GTA and load into an online session. When you load into the session, your outfit should look something like this. Now you will need to start up any merging job that you can set clothing type to player owned. Once you're in the merging job and in the selection screen, go one to the left, and one to the right. Now when the job begins, you will need to equip an earpiece, then pull up the phone and leave the job. Now go to the clothing store and save this outfit as C2 Keep. You will need this outfit to build any Beth outfit. The outfits you saved previously, you can now remove them from your outfit slots. Now to create the magic slot outfit, you will need to go to the front counter of the clothing store, Go to racing suit and select the racing suit with the logos of your choice. Save this outfit and label it as C1. The last outfit that you will need to create, go to the pants section, go into shorts and select the love heart boxers. Now go to the top section, go to t-shirts and select the orange v-neck. Now save this outfit and label it as merge. Now that you have these three outfits, select the C1 outfit and equip the Israel parachute bag. Now wait for the orange loading circle, then lag the connection to console 1. This should be the same process as before. On console 2, you will need to equip the C2 outfit, then wait for the orange loading circle, then close your game. On console 1, you will need to follow the same process as before. Remove the parachute bag and wait for the orange loading circle. If you have story mode, go into story mode. If not, close your game then relaunch the game and load into a session. When you load into the session, your outfit should look something like this. Start up the merging job and in the selection screen, go one to the left and one to the right. When the mission begins, equip an earpiece then pull up your phone and back out of the job. When you get into the session, save your outfit and you're done. This outfit is your magic slot outfit. 
This will act as the base and starting point for all your Beth outfits. You can merge any shoes, gloves, belt, armor, pants, and top onto this outfit. Now that is all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more awesome content just like this. Now as always, it's been your boy, Nightly Power, peace out. Look at my life, feel my pain. When it comes